to Honiara, Solomon Island, so I'm gonna stay here for two days and then continue on my way to Brisbane. Alright, so I made it to Honiara, Solomon Islands. <laughs> so we have Lydia in the back. How are you? I'm good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> so, and what's your name? William. William. Or Wilhelm. Yeah. One of those. Okay, I'm Jason. Oh, what? It's closed. Maybe we have to exit on the other side. I'm surprised it's raining, you know? How are you? Good. Good. You're taking Lydia to school? Yeah. What time does your school start at? Um, starting at 9. Oh, okay. So you'll uh, go to school until what time? Uh, until 12. 12, okay. Good, so we'll go visit the waterfall afterwards? Yeah. Great. Where will I start my day? You're gonna drop me off where? Lime Lounge? Lime Lounge? Yeah. Okay. Hey, so what's the famous guy here next to the police station, the statue? Choco Busa. Busa? Yeah. So what was his significance? Lydia. He's a hero. He helped the U.S. know where the Japanese are when there was the mm, Okay. No, that's good. So he's a well-known hero here? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. So can I see other statues of him or just at that police station? There's another one down at the Commonwealth Street. Oh, okay, I'll take a look at that. Yeah, okay, good. I'll check it out. So this statue and monument is dedicated to the Solomon Scouts and the Coastal Watchers that were helping the U.S. fight against the Japanese. They just made this in 2011, this statue and monument. Here we have Lime Lounge, Global Flavors, Local Plate. Here we have the National Olympic Committee of Solomon Islands. The Solomon Katana Mendana Hotel. Here we have nice monuments. Here's the New Zealand Commission that's going to be built right now. Coral Sea Resort and Casino. Here we have Vuza. He helped the Americans during World War II as a local. Now he's a hero. Park, they have a beach with coral rock. And the water's really clear here. There's even someone over there on the little canoe. So at this place they're making a new hotel. And the security shack on the right side over there, they had a notice that they're not allowed to sleep at the work site at night. They're not allowed to bring their bags also. Because people have been sleeping at the work site instead of going home. So they had to make a public notice for that. And also alcohol was big drinking, along with uh, hanging out at the security shack, which wasn't allowed. Hi. Works. Four? Uh, every day from Monday to Friday. Oh, okay. Alright. And is the internet fast or kind of slow? Or medium? Medium? <laughs> they have this Indian restaurant called Ravi's. You can get vegetarian curry, roti, rice, and samosas.
Here's the National Museum. We have this guy called Alvaro de Mendana. And then over here we have the propellers. This guy is called Alvaro de Mandaña. Here I am waiting in Honiara in Solomon Islands. What's your name? I'm Jason. I'm Tyla. Nice to meet you, Tyla. Yeah. And where are you from? Uh, my mom's England, my dad's Solomon. Oh, okay, great. And where do you work at now? Lime Lounge. You like it here? Yeah, just for like six months. Ah, uh, and after six months, where will you go? Um, Brisbane. Ah. I'll be in high school. Like year 12. Yeah. Oh, your last year? Yeah. Oh great, so are you excited to graduate? Yeah! <laughs> Can't wait! Wow, what's your plan after high school? Um, I don't know, maybe I'll take tourism. Yeah, I want to travel. Mm, okay, yeah. so that interests you. Yeah. Alright, cool, great. So, have you been to England? Uh, when I was little, yeah. Uh, okay. Just for a year. <laughs> what kind of job do you want to have in the future, like a career? Um, I don't know, maybe a pilot. Pilot? Yeah. Are you going to work for Solomon Airways? Maybe. Oh, that'd be Who nice. Knows? Yeah. <laughs> so one day I might hear you on the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. So you should go to flight school then after you finish your grade, grade 12. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully I meet you in another country or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> My name is Jason. Your name? My name is Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. Where are you from? I'm from Fiji. All right. Great. So where did you come back from? I just came back from uh, Papua New Guinea. What part? Uh, Western province in Hela, close to the, the western border, West Whoa. Papua. Hey, did you see any cannibals? I've met two. Really? Two, two of them. Oh man. So, did they talk to you? We have been talking together. We've been sitting around one evening. So they were not hungry when you met them? <laughs> it's a funny thing. <laughs> they told me before, when we saw you like uh, your body like that, like for us, we are really exciting that we're gonna we're gonna choose any time, like we're gonna plan a time to kill you or. Because you were very good meat. Ah. Yeah. So they saw me like, not just a human being, but he saw me like, I'm a, I'm a good meat. Good food. Good food for them. <laughs> well, how did you become friendly with them? Because uh, I was, I went there to like, just build relations like with my student. Uh -huh. So we went there and just say hi to them. So after then we share a, a word of God to yeah, them. Okay. Yeah, so like we welcome them, we eat them, eat with them. Like sit on the ground with them, sit mm, with them, okay. and start to talking to them. Yeah. Okay. So while we start opening our story to them they about, talk. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they were not aggressive to you. Ah, uh, no. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they 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 said that uh, every evening they're planning of killing a human being, because every five o'clock the men from the village they used to go to the garden to the farm to do their own farming and get some potatoes some root crops for the dinner yeah. so on their way these guys they will walk on the other side of the mountain with a bow and arrow uh -huh. bow and arrow then from the hill they will stand there and waiting for these people this guy so one will be shooting one and the other one maybe just two they said two we're gonna try for every evening Every evening? Every evening. Is it a different tribe they shoot at? No, just one person. They just like looking around the village. Oh, they just uh -huh. eat this guy tonight. Oh, okay. They only shoot guys. Yeah. Not girls. Girls too. Oh, really? Girls, they only eat. They only cut out the um, breast. Yeah. And the two leg. Oh. Uh, every part of the body, they throw it away. Oh, really? And the male, the boys, is very good meat. Maybe oh. you will be the good meat there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should keep on being skinny. <laughs> <laughs> How many scoops are you getting? This one? What flavor is this one? Huh? What flavor is this? Uh, what? <laughs> Not sure. You don't know? It kind of looks like minty. <laughs> Ah, okay. Ice cream shop. Hey, tell me it was uh, chocolate? Chocolate and boysenberry. Boysenberry? Yes. And what was this one again? Hokey Pokey. Hokey Pokey? Yes. <laughs> what is in Hokey Pokey ice cream? Yes, this is one. It's This is Hokey Pokey. This is Hokey Pokey ice cream? Yes. But <laughs> this should be one with this. But, so what's inside? It's a cream hokey pokey flavored ice cream packed full of crunchy hokey pokey pieces. A classic kiwi fave. Oh, okay. 
So it's kind of like caramel? Yes. What's the pieces? Mm, chocolate chip. Ah, chocolate chip. Get yeah. it to you now. But uh, we are now planning to go for doing medical checkup also. Yeah, heading hey, up to Parangichu. Can you say what? What's the place called? Parangichu. 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 How, how long does it take to get there? Uh, how long is it, Lydia? Um, maybe half an hour. Half an hour up this road? Not an hour and a half. <laughs> so you're the tour guide, huh? Yeah. I'm not, honestly, I haven't been to Parangin to the waterfall. Oh man. I've so been to the waterfall. So. It's like you've been to the waterfall. Yeah. You can find it for us. Yeah. Okay, good. Cocoa tree, what they do to make chocolate. Mm, okay. So that's how you open it? Yeah, just break it. Ah, so what's the edible part? Any of it? This seed. one? Yeah. Okay. But I spit out the seed? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Not much. If walk about by So what did they say? Huh? How long is it? It's like if we get there, we like might we will like that. How many hours did they say? Maybe one and a half if we walk fast, but it's like sixteen minutes. It's four. Oh man, so we might not make it there. Yeah, we might not make it. There. It's gonna be we're gonna duck. Only when we when come back. Really? Yes. So we need all day for this. Yeah. We need another one hour to reach to the waterfall. <laughs> oh man. But there's a path all the way, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not really. Cross some river. Do we have to cross the river? 14. We have to cross it 14 times. 14 times? Yeah. And it's just one river. Yeah, just one river. Like but the path is pretty much straight. Yeah, it's not. I mean, if we come in the morning, then we can reach there. Within. Like, uh, within like, if we come by seven, we can reach there like nine. Ah. Oh. Or half eight if we walk fast. Okay. Yeah. But it's fourteen times across the river. <laughs> um, it's just like just small walk like that, and then you cross the same river. It's not that like you have to. Mm. No, don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me jump. I can. You go jump low. Okay. So they dig the. Wait, how come there's a shovel down there? Oh, these people, they used to dig around in the, this place. They don't get their drinking water from the river. So they used to get a spade and dig. That's why they used to just put it here. Anyone comes to the river, come and just dig around some over here. So when the water is coming up, then just wait for all the dirt to sink down. Then they get the clean water. And it's okay to drink? That's really okay to drink. Mm, okay, it's good to know. Hey look, what's this? Is this that uh, blood? No. Oh, that's, a nut, um. ah. that's a nut. When they eat a nut, then they have to spit. That's how. Ah, so you don't have a lipstick, you can have a bilnut <laughs> for your just a lipstick. And you but it's not dangerous. No, no it's not. not really. <laughs> There's because no cannibals here. <laughs> no cannibals. <laughs> no more cannibals. Okay. okay. <laughs> they used to have some in the before, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But they, Very. they got... So the uh, gospel came. Jesus and change them. So, so now from cannibal they eat bilnut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in Nauru the there was 12 tribes and one tribe was a cannibal. Really? Yeah, so the 11 tribes put all those guys in the cave and blocked it up with stones so they couldn't escape. Oi! Now there's only 11 tribes in Nauru. Really? <laughs> so that's when? When was that? Like 100 years ago. 